Hello friends, welcome back to our channel. So in today's session, we'll discuss about uh, two more commands in SQL that is uh, drop and truncate. So a drop command is used to delete the complete table from the database, whereas truncate command will delete the data from the table, not the table, the data from the table. So let us see the syntax and then we'll execute the same in the SQL. So the first one is a drop command and both are both comes under the data definition language commands. Okay, so drop command which is a DDL command and the syntax is drop table followed by table name. So it will delete the complete table. Okay, see here it deletes complete table from the database from the database so we know that uh, the database consists of a lot of tables so in order to delete the table the syntax is drop table table name and coming to the truncate truncate command which is also comes under the ddl command and it deletes complete data from the table so the table will not be deleted but it will delete the data from the table so the syntax for this one is a truncate table table name table name right so let us execute these two commands in the mysql so let us open the mysql command line so it will prompt for the password so use the password I'll clear the screen now uh, use the database youtube because we are going we are using this youtube and uh, in this youtube we are having the tables let us check tables so we are having only one table that is a student right so if you want to delete the data so let us check whether the this one having the data or not so select star from student there's an empty table so let us insert some data so insert uh, let us check the description uh, student so that we'll get the complete structure so we need to give all these values so i'll insert or, or first let us see the drop table so drop table student so it will completely delete the table from the database see query okay zero rows affected and now you can see show databases or show tables so it will be an empty set because previously we are having a student table so in the youtube database if you uh, uh, execute this uh, show tables command we will get the table student but we have deleted the table so if the table consists of data then also the table will be deleted the drop table table name will completely deletes the table from the database now one second we'll create a table and we'll check with the truncate function so create table student let us uh, take some three attributes sid which is of uh, integer s name which is of uh, where care of a 30 and uh, some percentage which is of a float and use a primary key it's not required but we'll use this one primary key as id so a, a, a table has been created now if you observe show tables so there is a one table with a student so let us insert some values insert into student values so let us take 101 sandeep 99 so one row affected and see 102 saradi 96 so again 103 ramu sorry 103 
ramu with 93 right so now you can select a star from student you can get the data so there are three rows now use a truncate method truncate table table name student so it will delete all the data from the table so you, you can observe the tables so the table exists okay the table will not be deleted so if you use a truncate command it will delete the data inside the table but not the table right so you can observe show tables still the student table is available here but what about the rows inserted in the student tables so select star from student it will be the empty set because all these three rows will be get deleted for by using this truncate command right so hope you understood this one a simple commands drop to delete the table truncate to delete the data right so let's stop here so hope you understood this uh, ddl command so uh, if you are having any doubts regarding this one feel free to post your doubts in the comment section definitely i will try to clarify all your doubts and if you really enjoyed my session like my session share my session with your friends and don't forget to subscribe to our channel thanks for watching thank you very much